All right, now we open to the floor. Yeah. Any questions? Okay. Yeah, please. Uh, uh, thank you for the... Uh, Could you introduce yourself? Okay. Uh, my name is Mohammad uh, Rashid Hasnoon, uh, Pinangite, uh, one of the uh, local councillor uh, members. Uh, I have basically two questions. Uh, first of all, thank you for the uh, inspiring speech. Uh, uh, Prof, uh, Doctor, you mentioning briefly in your lecture just now, talking about Sharia. Uh, my, my question is, uh, how, how do you link that Sharia in relation with democracy? Uh, whereby, uh, you know, the, the reasoning for Shara, you know, things like protection of wealth, protection of mind, protection of knowledge. So how, how do you link that uh, Sharia, uh, the, the, the reasoning of Makasud uh, Sharia? Okay, uh, this one. Uh, for number two, all along your six principles, uh, you are not giving any rooms for any parties or any organization that struggle to uplift uh, our own personal, our own race, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know in, in, in a mixed country, we have Malays, we have Chinese, we have Indians, so, uh, but, uh, you know, the trend has been that, uh, you know, we, we, we love our own race, okay, uh, so, uh, are, are you saying that in the future, you know, uh, we should not be struggling based on our race. And uh, the, the last of all is, uh, we have heard so much about uh, your father, uh, sorry, your, your grandfather, uh, Albana, Hassan Albana. So I, I think I have not heard of your introduction about uh, yourself and, uh, and maybe your, your, your grandfather. We, we have been following, you know, the, the, uh, the teachings and the knowledge of your grandfather. So probably if you can uh, uh, enlighten us uh, with that. Thank you. All right, uh, we'll take two more, please. Introduce yourself for us. Please go to a I'm Abdurrahman uh, from Pas, Penang. Uh, my question is to Professor. Difficulty to observe as seemingly insignificant in life has meant a difference between success and failure of Muslim Ummah. The observation, I mean, the pondering has been the neg neglected quality in development of a pleasing Islamist. In other words, that is the most um, uh, the important factors, I mean, in understanding today's world with all kinds of diversities. In other words, Muslims nowadays are not observant enough or are not good listeners. In other, in other words, we have to, to listen too much. We, we shouldn't listen too much to our own music. Then we should listen to others. So my question is, do you buy that? Dr. Imran, yep. Assalamu alaikum, uh, Imran, I'm from here. Uh, I have uh, one, uh, I need one clarification and a uh, question. When you mention a Swiss citizen, you are a Swiss citizen and there's a full stop about it. Uh, do the Swiss citizen of Arab descent uh, refuse to speak uh, French or do you, your children refuse to go to a French school? Uh, I think you, you didn't mention about that. Uh, number one. Number two. Uh, number two, when you talk about this Islam democracy and human rights, you, you mentioned few issues. The two issues here you brought up was uh, economic opportunities and also about the responsibilities uh, and also about these um, political rights. And there were, there were a lot of clapping after that. So when, when there's a group, you know, without uh, economic rights or economic uh, opportunities and given the political rights, that will perpetuate uh, the economic inequalities and also uh, reduce opportunities. Uh, what is your opinion on that? Thank you. All right, thank you, Atman. No, uh, I think we'll answer first the three questions. Okay, one more then. 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم طبعا اسمي محمود شقفه اي هاف تو سبيك ان عربي بيكوز ام براود اوف عربيك لانجويج ماي كويستشن از تحدثتم او انتم تحدثتم في يا يا فروم فلسطين غزه تحدثتم في خطابكم عن حقوق الانسان في غوانتنامو وانا اسال عن حقوقنا في غزه You talked in your speech about uh, human rights in Guantanamo, but what about the Palestinians, those in Gaza who don't have electricity, don't have import under the siege, and they don't have any uh, right of human rights? Could you please explain this matter? Okay, about the, the, the first question on, on Sharia and democracy. You are referring to uh, what is known in Madrasat al-Maqasid, the school of al-Maqasid is about the objective in the al-Maqasid al-Daruriya, the five principles of uh, uh, Sharia is to protect. Uh, uh, and al-Qarafi added a sixth one, which is protecting religion, protecting uh, intellect, protecting uh, personal integrity, protecting uh, uh, progeny and protecting uh, our uh, goods and our dignity. So it's clear that if you come from this school, and for example, in the center that we have created uh, recently, the, the I'm directing a, a center in, in uh, Qatar in relation also with Oxford, which is a center for Islamic legislation and ethics. It's this philosophy that we are following is this, the philosophy of the Maqasid, the objectives. So when it comes to this, this understanding of uh, Sharia, which for me, we cannot translate Sharia as only a set of law. Sharia is a way and laws are part of the way. In fact, we need to deal with the objective. Sharia is the path towards faithfulness to achieve the objectives that are set by our revelation and the prophetic tradition. So uh, this Sharia is based on principles and objectives. One of them is, you know, uh, justice, uh, uh, the dignity. And this is where, for example, getting this sense that the Sharia is not a set of closed, is not a closed system, is a set of principles and objectives that are open and that they can take from others, uh, depending on their historical experience, is something that uh, uh, is explaining a relationship to the principles of democracy that are not at all in contradiction uh, when it comes to this understanding of Sharia and the way we are referring to it. So this is also something that we have to explain to uh, 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 Muslims themselves, because very often some Muslims even themselves are reducing Sharia to the penal code, the hudud. That's wrong. Some Muslims are reducing uh, Sharia to something which is a closed system of va the principles and law, and Islam Sharia is much more than this. Everything which is good, and is what is Shatibi was do saying, uh, Shatibi was the one who was uh, uh, synthesizing the, the whole school that are coming from the scholar al Juwaini, Abu Hamid al Ghazali, uh, in the Maliki tradition. And he was summarizing this by, by saying everything in the Sharia is for maslahat in nas. And this is why in the book Radical Reform, at the highest level of the new objectives, I'm putting a deen wa maslahat in nas. It's religion, it's our religion and the public interest of the people, understanding that Sharia is coming to protect both. So, so this is where we can take and we can be much more open and assertive with the way we are dealing with our reference to Sharia. But I would suggest and I would advise the Muslims not to accept this kind of new imposition on their terminology that is pushing them not to use certain terms. So now, for example, in the West, Sharia is a dirty term. Even here, sometimes it's problematic. Jihad, we are not using jihad. I'm sorry, I'm not going to give up and jihad is essential in Islam. Because jihad is the point where we understand that you are resisting and reforming. You know, jihad is not only uh, effort, it's deeper than that. It's an effort with an active dimension. 
In fact, it's, two, it's a two-way process. You resist what is bad and you reform for what is good, which is islah in itself. Jihad is this. You did this with your own self. You resist the bad temptations and you reform yourself. In the, the society, you do this. So anyone who is telling us, no, jihad is not a good term because the violent extremists are using it, I say, I will challenge their use and put it at the center of my own terminology because jihad is central. And you have, for example, as Muslims, when we talk about racism, when we talk about, uh, when we talk about poverty, to launch jihad against poverty. This is something which is part of our religion because this is, you know, this is where we are gathering the energy of the people. Jihad against racism is also something which is important. So jihad, it's important. Sharia, it's a very important concept. And we might have even to to come to a better translation. But it's basic, you know, even you, you it's important for you in Malaysia because you uh, have some knowledge of Arabic, you speak English and your uh, uh, language, Malay and, and all this, the languages that you are uh, using here, and you should be very, very, very cautious with the way you translate Arabic words and the way you are understood. I keep on repeating to Muslims speaking English or speaking French or speaking European language, don't translate Islam by only submission. Submission in English does not have the same meaning as Islam in Arabic. It does not have the same. Islam is entering in God's peace. It's not submission the way you understand it in English. In English it means enter under the authority with God, to, of God without your mind. Islam is not about without your mind. Submission is negative in English, positive in the way Islam is saying is Islam, is to enter in God's peace, to reconcile yourself with him, with all your mind, without no, not without mind, with all your rationality. You are sub, you, 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 you understand the point here? It's very essential, the words that we are using. So you can use sub, submission if you add to it many other things. So I'm not using it at all. I say, no, 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 this is not the way I understand Islam. It's deeper than the way you understand this kind of submission in the way we deal with, with the ones. So we have a, a, a work to do on that.